Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's old Pappy back with another one. Thanks for tuning in. Gonna try something a little bit different today. I'm gonna try some robots that aren't really part of the meta but are super fun to use. So, I'm gonna try to focus today on the invader you see it on the screen there right now. It's one of my favorite uh, bots, has a super cool jump ability and suppresses the enemy when you, when you land on them. Um, I'm gonna try the Falcon with some avalanche because that's kind of fun as well. Um, I, I, you know, it has the, uh, the special pilot that gives you more damage for the middle weapon but it does not have the t-falcon so i can use all three weapons you can see me jumping in <laughs> jumping in the air right there uh, jumping in the air like i just don't care and um, you know and then i'm going to try a, a few others here i'm just going to see how they work because i i know that with this latest update and uh, some nerfing and buffing going on there's a lot of questions out there people are wondering well you know they're saying pappy what 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 robots actually work now and if i don't have a hundred percent totally the meta what can i what can i dig out of my hanger here and still make work so let's try out the falcon here right now got these avalanches on it i really really love the avalanches um they were buffed uh, i don't know a couple of updates ago i think it was um 500 meter range they do explosive damage and uh they're pretty good you know especially when you can put three on a robot and the cooldown is actually pretty good in that the timing of the jump and the timing of the reload of the avalanches kind of kind of uh, sync really well right so by the time it's time to actually uh, reload and 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 use your cooldown and and be able to jump again basically you're all loaded up again but you can see what happens right here see I just got attacked by a shell now theoretically if I had <laughs> if I had stayed back um, a little bit farther and played a bit more cautiously I think that build would have worked a lot better there but once of course he was able to close distance um, there's not much you can do against a probably a, a totally maxed and tricked out shell but here's the invader now check this out one of the things I really like about invader is the the, uh, the height of the weapons actually because you can see right here <laughs> and it's kind of funny it's a little bit of a theme for this video these Lokis just keep appearing so here's Mr. Loki he thinks he's Mr. Smart Guy and he's gonna run right down to our, our uh, left hand spawn uh, uh, beacon and I'm able to kind of jump right out at him and land and then start hitting him with my um, with my um, my cryo style my freezing weapons there um, and and the reason why I'm able to drive him off like that is because I can actually hit him because of how low my bot is to the ground right so that's one of the things right away um, it's a little trick you should do if you run the invader or, or if you're thinking about running the invader it's really great oh look at that I just got myself a kill um, it's really great for hitting those um, bots that are in stealth right because you're so low to the ground now let's sneak over here again I'm just gonna use my jump gun I want to try to get that guy you can see that circle around me that's the circle of suppression if I do actually land and the guys in the circle I can I can suppress them there's actually a special pilot I don't know what the hell his name is, uh, Billy Wubbly Dub, I don't know, but anyway, the point is, the, the pilot's special skill is that he adds, I think, an extra 20% of suppression, and I gotta double check whether it's 20% longer, or he is suppressed by another 20%. Anyway, drop a line in the comments, let me know which one it is. Can't remember, I should've looked before I started playing, I guess. Um, but anyway, uh, you can see what I do here. I'm trying to set this guy up for a jump. I wanna see who he is, okay, he is a blitz I want to be careful because if he suddenly goes into his ability and has all kinds of there you go I want to be a little bit careful here so I'm actually gonna jump backwards and try to get away um, from him just in case he has lots of damage resistance okay and look at this oh that little bugger I told you that Loki would be back look at this guy now he gets his revenge he's like revenge of the Loki eh? I feel like I'm, I'm in a Thor movie here or something oh my gosh I'm getting triple team well I'm not gonna have much uh, luck here am I um, but anyway, I, it, look how, I mean, it's kind of funny because I was doing a little bit of healing there, but you can kind of see how long um, the invader can last. And I know some guys, um, I don't have a very high level pilot on mine, to be honest, but some guys can really trick them out with a lot of resistance, a lot of uh, healing, a lot of health. Um, but anyway, so I, I really like the invader. I'm going to talk a little bit just for a couple more seconds before I get back into describing what's happening here. But um, I, I, I think if you can really get your, your, your pilot leveled up, and you can put in lots of um, lots of damage resistance um, uh, skills from your pilot, um, and also really uh, work that healing. You can actually make the invader last a long time in these games. It really can be a tank, very much not quite as tanky as the Fenrir, but still pretty damn tanky. Um, look at that guy! Gosh darn it! Look at that. There's Mr. Loki. 
I'm so ticked off. I can't catch him. I was going to try to run and chase him down. Eh, forget it. I'll come back over here. I'm in my shell. I've been sort of working on trying to max this shell. I've got it up to, I think, maybe a level... Um, it's MK2 level 10 now, 11 or something like that. And I've been trying all different weapon sets on it. Now, some of them I've been trying with uh, the flame weapons. I got the ember and uh, the sparks, or well, not sparks, whatever the hell they're called, so the, 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 the lights. Um, they work good, but I don't like how they miss half the time because of the flame trail drifting when you try to shoot. So um, I put on some cryo stuff, you know, um, and I tried the freeze weapons. They actually work pretty good too. Um, and now I'm just trying just your, uh, a redeemer and some magnums. And I'm just going to see, well, you know, I know that they won't work very good against other shells and stuff like that. And the sure as hell is not going to work very good against that Arthur, that's for sure. Uh, so I am kind of missing, <laughs> missing my flame weapons there. I think I should have kept them on. Um, but anyway, uh, this is my guy here. Uh, again, the pilot I have for him is not very high level. So you're kind of seeing, even though it is um, pretty high maxed, um, it still dies pretty easily. And that's because I don't have uh, anywhere near level 70 pilot skills on this thing, let alone the boosted skills. And so I think if you guys are, um, you know, again, hit me up in the comments, let me know. But I think a lot of guys, when you do see shells on the battlefield and they are just insanely tough to kill, I think a lot of it is coming from the pilot skills. Um, you know, it just if you can if you can get all the skills that increase the uh, the toughness of the shell itself, to give you extra health, give you damage resistance, all that kind of stuff, um, coupled with modules and all that junk, then you can really really turn shell into just like basically a brick shit house, and you basically can't take it down no matter how hard you try. Um, but anyway, let's get back up here. Um, how we doing? We're up three beacons to two. We are up on the beacon bar. I'm in my hawk. Um, and, you know, I'm just being a little cautious with the old hockety do here because um, ever since it was nerfed, um, and I won't, you know, watch my other videos, you'll see exactly how it was nerfed, and there's a bunch of different things that happened to it, and the, um, the weapon set I run on it, um, these atomizer sort of family of weapons, um, the ones that overheat and don't need to reload, uh, over here I have nucleons and quarkers, um, they were nerfed as well. And so what I'm actually finding is that this build um, is not anywhere near as... I, I still run it because I love it. I think it's fun. But it's not anywhere near as strong as it was before. Um, it's actually um, quite well balanced, I would say, if um, you're just looking uh, for it to be a fair robot to fight against now. And you can kind of see right there. I mean, look how quickly my health went down. It was like, was that two seconds? And I'm already on my, um, on my last stand. And there you go, I'm dead. So, you know, Hawk, you know, I still run a couple just for fun, and uh, I'm not going to stop running them just because I actually, I don't know, do you guys do that? I mean, drop me again, hit me up in the comments. Um, what robots do you guys run in your hangars that you probably know have either lost their effectiveness, maybe they've, they got hit with the nerf hammer, um, but you still run them because you think they're fun. Right? I'd be interested to know. For me, it's Hawk um, and Scorpion. I like both robots. Um, I, like, I just like the gameplay. Um, but I do know that the, the nerf has hit them hard. So, um, you know, actually thinking about that, I have one more quick little question I'd have for you. Is there a robot, either now or in the past, that you have kept in your hangar even though you hated to run it? You know, I mean, that would be a question. Because there's a lot of robots over the years. Like, a Lancelot is a great one. When the Ancelot um, craze was going on, I think in 2016, um, I hated it. It was super boring to run, but everybody ran them, right? But anyway, that's it. That's, um, we won the game. How'd I do here? Let's see. Let's check it out. Yeah, 2.5 million. Not bad. Got four kills. Look at that. Got six beacons, though. Um, so my final thoughts real quick. Um, you know, would I, if I had to play a game to, to you know, for my life, you know, if I lose, um, you know, you know, it's a life and death kind of situation. Would I run a hangar filled with falcons and invaders? Probably not. But if I'm looking for something fun, um, both of them are kind of fun, aren't they? I mean, they're, they 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 can jump. They got cool abilities. They you get to you know suppress people and and uh, and bring out those extra weapons with the uh, falcon. Um, so anyway, yeah, you, let me know. Uh, you know, hopefully in, you enjoyed the video. You saw a little bit of what they can do, and I'd love to hear from you guys um, again. You know, what are the robots? 
cuts you keep in your hanger even though you hate playing them and what are the ones that you keep in your hanger even though you know they're not that effective but you like them anyway anyway that's it for now until you uh until you tune in again i'll see you in the battlefield and uh yeah take her easy Mm -hmm.